What up, Internet? It's your boy RJ, and uh, we're going to do a quick thing today on Rose Celebrity with uh, some of the comments I've been getting on the uh, Trump, one of the Trump videos I did recently. The video is called Trump People are the New Ron Paul People, and basically the concept is just to sum it up, and then I'll link the video uh, right here and below, or over there, whatever, there. <laughs> um, I was trying to make a point that not really digging into Trump or anything like that, but to specifically point out that the people who are going for Trump, people that are believing in Trump as um, an outsider, as a guy that can come in and change things, they're very much fulfilling the same type of wishful thinking that a Ron Paul fan was doing um, only a few years back. And I don't disparage Ron Paul. I came to Liberty through Ron Paul. I'm very thankful for his um, information, his message, his life, his work. Don't don't even mistake me for a second. I'm not taking away from Ron Paul, and I'm really not taking away from Donald Trump. Actually, I was a much bigger fan of Donald Trump before he got involved in politics, and not because I don't think he would be better than other candidates necessarily or whatever. It's actually because I just don't believe in politics, period. I don't think that the democratic or um, political structure that we have in America, let alone anything in the world, is really sufficient to serve the actual citizens of any country. And uh, before people go on and say, because this is going to come up in the comments, before people go on and say, okay, so what's your idea? What would you do then? What would you do better if you wouldn't do things the way America does it or whatever? Well, first of all, I think we should all be asking ourselves that question. Um, but to give you my answer is I would have a voluntary society where all of the relationships, all of the agreements, all of the property ownership is voluntary in nature. So there's no theft, there's no taxation, there's no borders, there's no standing army, there is no... Um, Federal Reserve or central banking, these are all non, not only non-constitutional concepts, but they're non-freedom concepts. And these things will never fully go away within the paradigm we have as a political society. So it's from that belief, if anybody's still with me on this, it's from that belief that Ron Paul people, I mean Donald Trump people, are essentially like Ron Paul people. Even though Donald Trump isn't a libertarian, um, he is in a lot of ways stirring the pot within the Liberty crowd. So let's get to the comments. Uh, the first two I believe are fake. I talked about this on Facebook a little bit with some people about um, GMO companies including um, uh, Boar's Head. They use uh, cotton seed oil which is a genetically modified derivative on the coatings of some of their meat products and hams. So. In questioning that online on their page, I got a, a onslaught of what seemed like non-targeted, non-directed at me, but just kind of generic responses towards my position. And that's been the first experience, and, and these uh, Trump comments are my other experiences. Now, if anybody sees this, and whether it's Trippy Ras Raspo or Mike Green and you're a real person, uh, leave another comment and uh, elaborate or respond to my point. So you can see here, Trippy Raspo says... Sorry to break it to you, but Donald Trump cannot and will not be stumped. The reason I said Trump bot in reply is because nowhere in my video was I saying that Donald Trump will be stumped. Um, I think that's a canned response. I think that's part of the campaign um, social media automation that Trump must be paying for and using. But to anybody that knows the internet, I know that it might fool some of the algorithms from an SEO standpoint, but once you start dealing with people who understand the internet, or people like myself are going to make a video exposing you, if that is a Trump bot, and the next one is a Trump bot, and Hillary has her bots, and all the big candidates have their bots, um, we need to be more vigilant uh, about this online and uh, try to refuse um, engaging with, with fake accounts or bots. Or, you know, I would erase them and delete them, but I don't have a ton of comments. So I like to see some action on these videos to encourage more debate, but if I get to where I have a lot of stuff happening, I see these are clearly bots or whatever, I'm going to blow them out. So next one, you are a loser. Now don't get me wrong, YouTube is full of haters and full of trolls and whatever, so that could be a legitimate account. Someone just didn't like what I had to say and they wanted to express that by calling me a loser. The flip side of that coin is I said back to that guy almost the same day or the next day, uh, Mike Green, care to elaborate or are you a computer generated response bot from the Trump campaign, which I have seen so much of? No response two weeks since then. So. You know, right there, I got two, my first two comments are siding with Trump conveniently, nothing to mention about Ron Paul, nothing to mention about what I said in the videos, and just defending Trump with no profile picture, no subscribers, no videos on their page. I'll continue on. 
And then we have question everything too. With the most thought out comment. Even if it wasn't good. <laughs> Whatever. They're all good, but I'm going to address this comment here. All right. To the creator of this video, that would be me. You have no common sense about you. Okay. Why would you come on to criticize a following as huge as Donald Trump to just espouse that they have no power and they will lose? I'm hearing a lot of emotional reasoning here um, on the part of Question Everything too. if it's a real person. To the creator of this video, you have no common sense about you. Um, so this person is suggesting that common sense is something I would have if I was able to realize that you don't criticize people with large followings. Um, I don't. I didn't go back and watch this video, the other video right before making this video because I remember what I said, so, or I thought I did. So I can't tell you exactly without going back to check whether I said that he would lose. Um, and if I did, it was probably within the context of something else. And then the part saying that he has no power, if I did allude to that, I was probably simply saying that he doesn't have power within the paradigm of within himself. He's either sanctioned by the elites or he's a JFK who's going to be stomped out, um, is my belief. So, um, let's continue on. It is as if you wish to defeat Trump and his supporters to uphold your disdain for all powerful establishment. This is where this comment gains legitimacy insofar as I believe it's a real comment. Because they're essentially saying that I don't like Trump and his supporters, or I want to get rid of them because I don't like the establishment. I, I if, if anything, I would want Trump to do well for that reason because he's supposedly challenging the establishment, right? So I think you're still missing my point question everything, but let's continue on. If Trump loses, you may be right. And then again, if Trump wins, your conspiracy theory unravels at your feet. Um... That point I'll kind of give you a little bit, actually, believe it or not, because I, I, I don't really care about being right or wrong as much as just to share my views and to get conversation started, but I was trying to suggest that he doesn't have a chance, maybe, or it's either it's either uh, uh, he's part of the elites now and he's just pretending to be against them, or he'll eventually not be allowed into office, or he'll be, uh, I'd hate to say it, but possibly assassinated. Um, so... Then again, people said that kind of thing about Obama, so let's just see. But um, if Trump loses, you might be right. And again, if Trump wins, your conspiracy theory unravels at your feet. Just to point out, um, it wasn't a conspiracy theory. When we say conspiracy theory, it means there has to be one or more people conspiring to do something. I'm not conspiring with anyone else. I'm just telling you how I feel about my own views, one person. So even if I was talking about a conspiracy theory that you're talking about, that I was talking about a possible conspiracy theory between Trump and the elites or the, the, the status quo, um, if he wins, that doesn't disprove that theory. If he wins, it would still be a possible thing that he was already sanctioned and he was it was all a, an act to act like he was so um, against everything that's happening. Whereas, in fact, he has admitted in the past that he's given money to every candidate and he's always willing to bribe a politician to get something done. Why would he become a politician and then not uh, expect to have to go along with that way? It's not just the voters. That's the problem we have as, as Americans, that we think that we actually have control of our government and that there is a government and that we're um, voting things. There's a narrative, there's an agenda, and there's people in power. You don't have democracy. You don't have a government. You don't have a choice. You're a slave. Get that into your head because that's the truth. Um, I hope for the latter, and I think you should too. Listen, question everything. If you're a real person, thank you for your comment. Thank you for having uh, the patience to write a few sentences and put yourself out there. Hopefully I didn't uh, insult you or make you feel stupid for commenting. I don't want that to happen. However, I don't want Trump to win, and I don't want anyone to win, because I don't want to be ruled by anyone. I don't want a ruler. I don't believe that any politician from the dawn of America till today has made any decisions that washed out in the favor of the people. All the decisions that they've ever made have washed out in the favor of big money, big power, big banks, big business, and nothing a politician has ever done. I know I'm painting with a very broad brush, but it maybe there's some creaks and crevices to this, but I am against the system because 99 or 96% or whatever large, large percent of um, what politicians do is, is not good for the people. It doesn't help the people. It helps... It, it detracts from people. It harms the people. So, question everything. Thank you for your comment. I will tell you this. You're not correct in that I want Trump to win 
Um, but I do see how if you believe that politics really was how things were decided and that by having Trump ceremoniously get the most votes or become elected or put more time on TV for the next few years and live, move in the White House, uh, because you believe that that's going to do something positively or otherwise to the, to the actual agenda of what's going to happen, um, it's aesthetics. It's like saying, I'm going to paint my, my trumpet red. If you're playing trumpet and you paint it red, it won't really change the sound of your trumpet necessarily. It shouldn't. Uh, or if it does, it would have a very minor effect. But it's it's the fact that you are going to make an aesthetic change that's relevant. So um, that's what I'm trying to say to you. And you don't have to agree with me, but that's the point I'm trying to say is that I believe that a political change is an aesthetic change. The agenda, the powers that be, the corporate interests, the private interests, the lobbyists have this show under control. Yes, Um some things take them longer, some things take them slower. Some individuals in power might resist or have their own motives or their own agenda, but generally speaking, it would be very foolish for someone of Trump's nature with all the power, all the safety, all the protection, no one's mad at him, he's not doing anything other than maybe asking Obama for a birth certificate or something, for him to all of a sudden put himself into world power position with not only Russia and you know uh, Syria and other countries against Trump coming into this position, where he's already a millionaire, or billionaire, he's already very wealthy. If he was actually against the establishment, and you had the Clintons, the Bushes, the UN, the PNAX, the you know uh, the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the the CIA, the FBI, the NSA, do you think Trump would put himself in a situation where all of those people, or many of those people, didn't want what he was about to to, to put out there? Do you think that the people would go for that? Uh, I mean, do you think that Trump would go for that? Do you think he's? I mean, if you if you respect the man, you got to think with your head and, and say, is there is there a contradiction here? I respect this guy, I think he's smart, but I'm saying that he would do something that could get himself killed. Now you're saying he's smart and he's courageous and noble. That's a sales pitch. Now you've bought everything hook, line, and sinker. Now you believe that that not just Trump, this, take this, we can put anyone in there, but Cruz, Hillary, I'm not left or right. I'm not making any distinctions there. I'm just saying politicians are not going to fix your problem. Trump is going to help out his buddies if he gets into office. And he's going to go along with the paradigm of what's happening from the top down, just like every other person will. So as long as people like yourselves continue to waste time online about this debate for the next six months to a year and, and trying to change people to pick what you're going to pick, you've just wasted an entire almost year of your life. And if you do it every four years, you're wasting a quarter of your life and a quarter of your energy blabbing about things that have no effect. So I've said it all, guys. I've responded to these comments. Keep them coming. If you think you have something to say that could refute me or if you think I'm playing a little too loose and fast and not giving enough information, tell me what you want to know and I'll try to respond.